Oh, that was so close! Hmm, what do I need? Oh, I know what I need. What is it, Baxter? No. Oh. Sam, yeah, the kids are here. Oh, hey guys. Hi, kids. Hi, you guys are here early. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me just clean up and we'll get started. Uh, here, Matt, hold this box for me. Whoa. Okay. We just get this stuff out of the way, and we will have some fun. Yeah, all right? All right. Okay, Matt. Wow. Just uh, put that over there on the shelf, all oh, right? Okay. Yeah, just right over there. That'll be perfect. Uh-oh. Not again. Boy. Wow, I guess that was turned on. Oh, Super Dog must. Hey, kids, it's Super Dog! Wow, you know, he's always there to save the day. Bye, Super Dog! Oh, Matt, how'd you get so dirty? Hello, Matt and Sam. And of course you, Baxter. Hi, Holly. Hi, Holly. Hey, kids, it's Holly the Hologram. She runs our laboratory for us. Hi, kids. Welcome to our laboratory. A new science question has just come in. All right. Awesome. OK, to the superhero machine. Follow us, kids. OK, let's go. All right. All right, to the bulls. Whoa, I have an idea. Magnetic mat on. What was that? Boom! Well, that didn't work. Magnetic mat off. Huh? Magnetic mat off. Please? Ugh. Where do those spoons come from? All right, Let's try this again. Magnetic mat on. Oh, that didn't work like I thought. Magnetic mat off. Oh. Whoa. I guess I have to do this the old fashioned way. Ha <laughs> <sighs> Slow down! Whoa, kids! You guys are fast! You even beat me here! <sighs> Man, that was... Baxter! Huh? How'd you get up here? Huh? I'm gonna follow you next time. <sighs> Alright, kids, you guys ready to see the new question? Okay, Holly, hit it! Here you go, guys. Hi, Matt. Hi, Sam. My name is Reese. How many stars are in the sky? Whoa, that was an excellent question. Space is my favorite subject, too. Woo woo. So, do you need help answering Reese's question? I'll be happy to look up some information for you. Hmm. No, let's just go outside and see if we can answer this ourselves. See you later, Holly. Hey kids, come closer. This gives me an idea for the science word of the day. Constellation. So whenever you see it appear on the screen like this, yell, constellation, really loud. Don't forget. Now let's go see where Sam and Matt have gone. Baxter? How'd you get out here? Well, anyway, this is going to be easy. There's only about, um, six of them. Huh? Uh... I think there are more than six stars, Matt. I just realized that the lights coming from the city are just too bright. And they're not allowing the starlight to shine through. Oh man. Yeah. Well, there's got to be a better way to do this. Mm. I have an idea. Let's go ask Holly. Good idea. Let's go. Hey, Holly. Huh. Huh. Baxter, how'd huh? you get up here again? Huh? Wow. Hey, guys. Do you need something? We need to find a good place to see the stars. Is there a place where we can see the whole sky? Hmm. There is a great place to look at stars without having to worry about the light pollution caused by cities. Wow, where is this place at? 
Well, this is the Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles, California. One of the best places in the world to see the stars. That looks so cool, Holly. Yeah. Okay, let's go. What are we waiting for? Well, well, what about me? What? Don't worry, Matt. I'll carry you. Give no, me your hand. I don't think so. What? Remember last time you sneezed and dropped me over the ocean? Oh, yeah. This is really cool. Yeah, I know. I said I was sorry. Well, you could have swooped down and got me with your super speed. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, I forgot all about that. <sighs> Don't worry, guys. Oh, we can just take the Winnebago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelts. Oh! Ah! I'm never gonna get used to that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Holly really needs some flying lessons. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Check out all these stars. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's let's start counting them. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 2,567, 2,568. Whew. Hey, Matt, there's got to be a better way to do this. Yeah, yeah, I know. What? I realized what? that when I got to 20. What? And you left me here counting? Yep. Huh? We need an expert to help us, oh. which is why I got an astronomer. Oh. Oh. Huh. Hi, I'm Sam. See, you've already met Matt. Mm-hmm. Hi, I'm Professor Keith. Oh. Welcome to the Griffith Observatory. Hmm. Baxter? <coughs> Baxter? <coughs> Baxter? Hey, <coughs> hey, buddy. Can you recycle this for me? <coughs> Thanks. Um. Huh? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, sorry. We have a question about space. Our friend Reese wants to know, how many stars are in the sky? Yeah, we tried to answer it ourselves, but there were just too many stars to count. That's a very good question. And I actually agree with you, Sam. There are far too many stars to count one by one. Huh? The expert agrees with me! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! If you look up on a clear night, with no light pollution and no moon, huh. you can only see a few thousand stars. Oh. So the city lights, even the bright moon, can block the light from the stars? Yes. That's oh. correct. Now, if you had a telescope, you'd be able to see a million stars all on the same night. However, even a million stars is only a small fraction of the huge number of stars that make up our universe. Shh! Not now, Baxter. Wait, okay, wait. Wow. I wish we had our own telescope. Yeah, that'd be cool. Well then, how many stars are there in the whole universe? Well, Matt, most scientists estimate the number of stars in our universe to be 10 to the 21st power. What? Imagine this. It's a one with 21 zeros after it. Huh. Huh? huh? What? 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 Whoa! Whoa. Wow. That's a lot of stars, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Thank you. Oh. Hi, guys. Oh. We just got another question about stars, and I wanted to catch you while you were still with the astronomer. Okay, Holly. Go for it. Hey, Matt. Hey, Sam. My name is Naomi. I have a bright question for you. What is a star made of? I love the watch. Oh, thank you very much. That's a very good question, Naomi. Yes, I agree. Yep. That's great. Yep. Well, a star is actually a celestial body of hot gases that radiates energy derived from the thermonuclear reactions at its interior. Okay, well, imagine this. It's the hottest thing you've ever seen. Hmm. 
<laughs> hey, it's not my fault you can't control your heat ray vision. Well, but, oh. How about this? An excellent example of a star would be our sun. Oh. It's at the center of our solar system and it's a huge ball of ongoing nuclear reactions. Oh. Oh. So you mean all the stars in the night sky are like our sun? Yes, they're all very similar. You've got it, Matt. Thank you, Professor Keith. Any time for my favorite superheroes? Well, I have to get back to the observatory now, oh, guys. Okay. Have a great night. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. That was awesome. That was cool. Yeah. Hey, Holly. Thanks for finding this place. Yeah, we learned a lot. Yeah. That's great, guys. And I have a surprise for you. Take Whoa. a look. Wow. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you. And I wanted to show you some constellations. Constellation. What was that? I don't know. Huh. So, Holly, are, when you say constellation, are you talking about the Big Dipper? That's, That's right, right, Matt. A constellation. constellation. What? Are, are you doing that? That wasn't me. Oh. It's a group of stars in the sky. If connected by an imaginary line, looks like an object, figure, or animal. Holly, how can you find a specific group of stars in the real sky when there are so many stars up there? Let's go outside and I'll show you how. Let's go. Thanks, kids. Great job on the word of the day. Okay, Holly. We found a good spot. Now look at all the stars. Try to find the brightest one in the sky. Oh, I found it. It's really close and really big. Matt, that's a street light. I guess finding the brightest star is not one of your powers. <laughs> See that bright star? That's called the North Star. Or you can call it Polaris. Once you find the North Star, if you follow it across, you can find the Big Dipper. That's actually pretty easy. Almost as easy as finding a streetlight, huh Matt? Well, what about all the kids in the cities that can't see all the stars? Maybe we can help them find a way to see some of those constellations, too. Hmm. I've got it. I have an idea. Let's go back to the lab. Bye, Holly. Okay, kids. I'm going to show you something you can do at home so you can see your own stars. Well, I hope you don't ask them to cut the roof off their house. Ruff, ruff. Uh, oh, I have a great idea. Baxter. Go to the lights, okay? When I tell you, turn them off. Okay, kids, we're going to need some materials to get a styrofoam or paper cup, a flashlight, and a pen or pencil. Matt, go, go, go. Oh, go, go get the experiment okay, okay, box. Okay. It's over there to the left. No, your other left. Found it. All right, oh, perfect. All right. All right, we're gonna need a cup, a flashlight, and a pen. Okay, well, I don't need anything else out of this box. Hey, Matt, could you take this for me, please? What? Yeah, what? There you what? Go. Huh? Whoa! Kids, did you drop something? Huh. Well, anyway, let's get started with our project. Okay, kids, first thing we want to do is grab our paper cup. Okay, now we'll use our pen to draw our favorite constellation. Mine's the Big Dipper, so we're just going to draw it right on the bottom of the cup. All right, so there we go. We have our Big Dipper. Okay, kids, now we're going to use our same pen and poke holes where we drew our stars. Alright, okay, see, now our cup's ready to go. You see the holes? Now we have our Big Dipper. Okay, kids, I think we're ready for the flashlight now. Hey, Matt, how'd your huh? cup turn out? Oh, uh, pretty good. I got the hole going. What? Uh, okay. I think I'm ready. Um, okay, kids, well, I hope yours turned out better than Matt's. Okay, kids, now we're going to get our cup and put it on our flashlight at an angle like this. There we go. Alright, Baxter, hit those lights. Wow, look, kids, this looks great. You can really see the Big Dipper. What? What? 
What is that? Hey, look, I made the moon. Matt, get your moon out of there. Ha <laughs> ha. Baxter, turn on the lights, please. Matt, we were supposed to do constellations. Huh? What? Oh. <laughs> what? Well, anyway. Well, kids, I hope you enjoyed this project. And you know you can always go back and do your favorite constellation. That project was pretty cool. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I hope they enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Oh, you know what? I've got a giant flashlight. I can make this even better. Hang on one second. Uh, 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 all right. Okay, I know it's in here somewhere. Where is that flashlight? Uh, uh, Sam, uh, Sam, uh, we're about to lose our superpowers. What, Matt? Hang on a second. I've almost found it. Yeah, but... There it's here somewhere. Oh, oh no, Matt! <laughs> hey, hold on. I can't... Okay. What? All right, what's going on? I'm almost finished. What? Help me get this thing off. Okay, one second. <laughs> what was that noise? Hold what? on, I'll help you. Uh, what? Okay. Go. Pull! Pull! Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Thanks. Oh, the flashlight. Let me... Oh. oh. I think I see it. Oh. Is this what you're looking for? What? Uh, there you go. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> thanks. Ooh. What? Baxter? Huh? No. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Thanks again, man. Yeah, man. I think we had a great adventure today. Yeah, I love talking about space. Yeah, me too. Do you think we answered the kids' questions? I think we did pretty good. Hey, Reese, thanks yeah. a lot for your question. Isn't it amazing that Whoa. on a clear night you can see thousands of stars? And thanks to Naomi, we learned that every one of those stars can be just like our sun. Whoa. Yeah, it's pretty cool that the sun is our very own star. Yeah, it is pretty cool. And isn't it great we got to meet Professor Keith? Yeah, we learned so much from him. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. But it's time for us to go, kids. Oh, okay, kids. Well, we'll see you next time. And don't forget, science is an adventure. Go out and discover it. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye.